This is all the things that I wish I would have knew before I started taking care of my father because let's start out with the bed. Right here, I have some padding. I need some form of underwear protection. We went and got him a heating blanket. It's something that we're all familiar with. The rolling walker. These are hassle-free commode liner. Next item is a portable bathtub. This is all the things that I wish I would have knew before I started taking care of my father because it all kind of hit at once and I wasn't prepared. And for a while there, he wasn't comfortable because I'm a little frustrated. And I said, I need to make a video to prepare someone else that's taking care of their loved one to not have to experience what I did and what my father went through for a small period. Once you get onto your routine, it's just that it's a routine. It becomes a lot easier. Everything is structured. Everything is in place. Everyone's happy. My dad lived with me, but if your parent is at their house and you're going to their house each and every day, oh, then this is even more essential that you get a bed that the reason why we chose this bed is one, you could put rails on it. Two, it's adjustable. Three, you could raise and lower the height. Four, it's on wheels. Five, a lot of reasons. Five, it's small. So it gives more room within the room so they can maneuver around. Taking care of an aging loved one, an aging parent, comes down to two simple but yet important things. That's preparation and comfort. The more that you prepare, the more comfortable they are. Let's start out with the bed. This is a bed that is adjustable. It can go either up or down. You have a crank where you can lower it or raise it depending on the comfort level that the actual individual wants to be in or maybe you just want it high because you want to put storage under. You know how these work. So I'm raising, I'm raising the feet and the head at the same time. And as you see, the rails also raise. Now, once you're at this position, this is easy for looking at TV. This is easy for just taking pain off of the back. Whatever the case is, this is going to alleviate a lot of discomfort. And as you see, this particular bed has rails. What the rails do, they allow for easy maneuverability of your parent. I'm just gonna say parent because it was my parent. It was my father. This was his bed. And uh, this, these are everything that I did to make his last few days as comfortable as they were. Now, here are the benefits of having the rail. Pull up the lever and it could raise up or it could raise down. The benefit of it raising up and it latches is so that no one will fall out. The benefit of lowering it is so that you can get in and out easy. Now, once you do have it up, the benefit is, well, the person that's in here can grab the rail and move themselves around so it gives them their mobility back. And you can easily take it down by yourself. Now, the bed, like I said, is probably going to be where they are living the majority of their time. So multiple factors go into making the bed comfortable. Right here, I have some padding. This particular bed padding, these are premium underpads. These are 23 by 36, 23 by 36. Now this doesn't provide comfort, but it's an absorbent pad and it provides protection on the mattress. It gives them dignity and you don't have to uh, clean the bed each and every time. Now, if you want something a little bit stronger, which we did, we went with this absorbent pad. This particular one, as you see, it's a lot bigger it's expanded 
the entire width of this uh, bed, which is a extra large, extra large twin. This particular padding was 34 inches, 34 inches by 52 inches. So it's pretty wide and it was reusable. You can wash this thing hundreds of times and it absorbs smells. So you know what that means. Then depending on how far your aging loved one is, you might need some form of underwear protection. We went with the assurance and uh, these were the kind that you just pull up kind of like traditional underwear. And again, it gives them their dignity. They don't want to be in that position and you definitely don't want to clean up. Taking these necessary steps to make sure that their sleep, that their comfort, that their hygiene is in order is going to make everyone's life easier. My dad would get cold a lot. So instead of getting him a heating pad, we went and got him a heating blanket. This particular one is very soft. It has the Sherpa lining and this thing is very warm. And we had rails on both sides. So, you know, again, he could adjust himself. He also had multiple items in his room that made everything a little bit more comfortable. This is something that we're all familiar with, the rolling walker. This thing is essential for multiple reasons. Uh, the good thing about these, they have brakes. So right now it's locked. It has a little storage unit. So, you know, you can put whatever it is you want to put in there. It has a seat. So what my dad used to do was put his, he would go into the kitchen, put his plate and whatever on here and bring it back. If you need a break, this little back breast, you can sit down and it rolls very smooth. There's a little drawstring right here. You would pull it and you can simply pick it up. It, it would fold so we can transport it into the car. This rolling walker gave my dad his mobility and it gave him peace of mind. And it, well, it gave me peace of mind. It gave him mobility knowing that he can go into the kitchen, walk into the backyard, wherever. And if he needed to sit down, he could sit down with a little backrest. The next item I have, these are, these are hassle-free commode liners with super absorbent pads. Bringing their bathroom to their area makes it easy for them to get up and down, makes it easier for you. You don't have to worry about them walking to the bathroom. Maybe if you're transporting them, it's just further. It's easier just to have a portable commode. They're a little higher. Benefit of having the liners and not just the bag. Whenever the liners get soiled, their absorption is amazing. Any fluid hits it, it just turns into gel and it eliminates smell as well. Next item is, this is a portable bathtub. So we have a two-story uh, two house and our downstory is just a commode and a sink. So there's no bathtub or a shower. You have to go upstairs for that. So that wasn't the case for my dad. So we went and bought him this portable bathtub. It inflates to roughly the size of this bed. Uh, what are the actual dimensions? I'll put the dimensions on the screen, but it, 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 it was big enough for me to sit in. And this again, makes it just comfortable. Um, sometimes the aging, they don't want you to have to do each and everything for them. So when you can keep their independence, it's huge. Next on the shopping list is oxygen. You know what these are. And we all know what these are. But if you're gonna be home a lot, you have to constantly get these filled and it's, it's, it's not fun. So this company right here, they came out with this 
particular oxygen tank and it works like a fan. You just plug it into the wall and it sucks air in, purifies it and turns it into oxygen. It's much more technical than that, but that's what it does. And you can just attach, be it the one that goes over your mouth or where is it at? Or, or the ones that go in your nose. It's around here somewhere. Either or, this is a very, very, very important upgrade from the portable one because you don't have to refill anything. I think it's every six months you have to clean it. But I leave a link to you know all the stuff in the description. But this was huge. Now, next on the preparation side is medication. Make sure you get one of these pill holders and put however many pills that they take a day in each day and it makes it easy for you. It makes it easy for them. It makes it easy for the doctor. It makes it easy for everyone. Mentioning doctor, that's the next step in the preparation. Make sure that if your loved one, if your aging parent isn't able to physically go to the bank, to the doctor, to the pharmacy, pay their utilities, pay their bills, make sure you get on their account. Because the faster you get on their account, once it becomes too late, then it's too late and now you're scrambling and now you're upset at people. So make sure, not necessarily power of attorney, but just make sure that the doctor's office knows that you're going to be the one bringing your parent to the doctor. The pharmacy knows you're the one picking up their bills, I mean, picking up their prescription. Even the utilities. Just make sure you are on their bank accounts, you are on um, the pharmacy, you're on their bills, Make sure you're everywhere so that you can conduct their business so that it's easy for them, it's easy for you. This is all the things that I wish I would have knew before I started taking care of my father because it all kind of hit at once and I wasn't prepared. And for a while there, he wasn't comfortable because I'm a little frustrated. And I said, I need to make a video to prepare someone else that's taking care of their loved one to not have to experience what I did and what my father went through for a small period. Once you get onto your routine, it's just that it's a routine. It becomes a lot easier. Everything is structured. Everything is in place. Everyone's happy. This was the setup for months. Uh, for a couple years, turned into the last few months, my dad was pretty much bedridden and he was in that position for roughly three or four months and then he passed away. And at least his last few months was as comfortable as I could make them for him. And I said, let me make a video so that someone else could take care of their loved one in a way that they would be happy, that they would have no regrets that their loved one was comfortable for the last few days. Now, my dad lived with me, but if your parent is at their house and you're going to their house each and every day, oh, then this is even more essential that you get a bed, that the reason why we chose this bed is one, you could put rails on it. Two, it's adjustable. Three, you could raise and lower the height. Four, it's on wheels. Five, a lot of reasons. Five, it's small, so it gives more room within the room so they can maneuver around. The day that the paramagnus came and picked up my father, it was easy because there was so much room. They just wheeled the gurney in and picked him up. And so it just makes everything easy. Again, I made this video so that you can be prepared, so that you can make your loved one comfortable, so that you will have 
peace of mind. Okay. That's about all I have. Oh, I forgot. You need gloves. Gloves, mask, apron. Because you're going to do stuff that you don't want to do. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Everyone understands. The more prepared you are, the easier it will all be. As usual, I appreciate your time. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up. I'll be sure to get back at you. You guys have a nice, blessed day.